Now we may roughly consider an atom as an electron of charge minus E circulating the nucleus with a speed V. So it will be equivalent to a circular current loop where the current in the loop is the ratio of the charge to the period T. So current I equals to current I equals to minus E by T where T is the period which is equals to minus E by 2 pi R by V or minus E V by 2 pi R. So this is the expression of current I equals to minus E V by 2 pi R. Now the magnetic moment mu will be equals to magnetic moment mu equals to current into area of the loop magnetic moment mu equals to current into area of the loop where current i as we previously calculated the value of i which is minus e by 2 pi r into area which is pi r square now magnetic moment mu will can will have the value minus ev by 2 into r minus e by 2 m into m v r we can will multiply it with m now as we know the ang orbital angular momentum L equals to mvr and if we put the value of L here then we will get minus E by 2m into L. Now mu equals to minus E by 2m into L. Here mu and L both are vector quantity and as you can notice here there is a minus sign. This minus sign indicates that mu and L will be oppositely directed. That means the direction of mu will be opposite to each other and just like L mu can also take certain values only. Now mu equals to minus E by 2m into L. So mu equals to minus E by 2m into L. Now if we put the quantum mechanical values for L then we will get mu equals to minus E by 2m into root over L into L plus 1 H cut. Now it will be equals to minus e h cut by 2m into root over l into l plus 1 which is equals to minus mu b root over l into l plus 1 where mu b is equals to e h cut by 2m This mu p equals to E h cut by 2m is called as Bohr magneton. Bohr magneton. Now, this mu v has value 9.27 into 10 to the power minus 24 joule per tesla. Now mu equals to minus E by 2m into L. Now mu z, the z component, mu z equals to minus E by 2m into Lz which is equals to minus E by 2m into ml h cut where Lz equals to ml h cut. 
which is equals to minus e h cut by 2m into a mil. Now we will put e h cut by 2m equals to mu b. So it will be minus mu b into m l. Now root over l into l plus 1 is greater than m l. Since root over l into l plus 1 is greater than m l, that means mod value of mu is greater than mu z. That means the magnetic moments of the atoms are oriented at random. Now, if a magnetic moment mu is placed in a magnetic field B, then it will have a potential energy and the potential energy V will be minus mu dot B, uh, which is equals to minus mu Z B. And now we put the value of mu Z, which is minus mu B into ML. Okay. So V equals to mu B, B into ML. V is the energy of interaction between the magnetic field and the magnetic moment. Now, if a dipole of magnetic moment mu L is placed in an external magnetic field B, it acquires a potential energy V, which is minus mu L dot B, and classically it experiences a torque tau. The torque tau is equals to mu L cross B. Now, this torque tau will align the di dipole along the direction of the field. So it will align mu L along the direction of B. Uh, here, mu L and L are anti parallel to each other. So tau is perpendicular to B and mu L also. And classically, we have tau equals to dL by dt. Now we will take it as 1 and this one as 2. Okay, so here tau equals to dl by dt. But uh, as we know, the magnitude of L is fixed. So L can only change its direction. That means L will precess around B. This is called Larmor precession. So and the frequency is called the frequency of recession is called as Larmor frequency. Now we will calculate the Larmor frequency from the diagram as you can see that omega L if we call it as Larmor frequency then omega L is equals to d phi by dt. Now from the diagram as you can see that d phi by dt equals to 1 by L sin theta into dl by dt so d phi by dt equals to 1 by l sin theta into dl by dt now dl by dt from our expression 2 that tau equals to dl by dt we will put the value of dl by dt equals to tau here then we will get 1 by l sin theta into tau And from our expression 1, we know that tau equals to mu L cross B. And if theta be the angle between mu L and B, then tau equals to mu L B sine theta. So, we will put the value of mu L B sine theta here in place of tau. Now, sine theta will cancel each other. Now our value of omega L is omega L equals to mu L B by L. So this is the value of Larmor frequency omega L equals to mu L B by L or we can write it as mu L B by 2 M mu L into E. So we have uh, put our value of L here. Now omega L equals to E by 2M into B. It is mod omega L actually. 
Okay, now note it carefully that whenever a magnetic moment mu is placed in an external magnetic field P, it will experience a torque tau. This torque will uh, align mu will along the direction of B. So this tendency of mu will to align along B will result in rotational energy which must be dissipated but since there is no such process of energy dissipation mu will, will precess around b keeping theta and energy constant okay so today we have discussed about magnetic moment of electron and larmer frequency and larmer precession and on our next class we'll discuss about vector atom model